This month is the Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, what exactly is cervical cancer? Cervical cancer is a cancer in the mouth of the uterus. Why exactly are we discussing about cervical cancer? Cervical cancer is the second most commonest cancer amongst women after breast cancer. About 1,20,000 women are affected by cervical cancer every year in our country. India is said to be the global capital of cervical cancer. And you know, one woman in every nine minutes dies due to cervical cancer. And it is a cancer which is totally preventable. Why is it preventable? Because this is the only cancer where we know the definite cause of cancer. This cancer is caused by a virus called human papilloma virus. It has got 52 different types out of which two types that is type 16 and 18 are the commonest types causing not only cervical cancer but vaginal, vulval and anorectal cancer. And since we know the causative organism, we have found a therapy for it. What is the therapy? The therapy is secondary prevention. What is secondary prevention? It is vaccination. Vaccine. There is a vaccine against this cancer, which is very commonly available all over the world at now at a very affordable price. This vaccine is actually a quadrivalent vaccine, which covers four types of HPV. Number six, number 11, which are benign types, which cause genital warts. The things that the warts which appear in the vagina around the anus. Number two, the other two varieties are 16 and 18, which are directly implicated to cause cervical cancer in 70% of the cases. This vaccine can be given ideally in the age group of 9 to 14, where it is given in two doses on the first day and repeat dose after six months. This vaccine now, as WHO is propagating for developing countries and poorer nations, that even a single dose of HPV vaccine in the age group of 9 to 14 is 90% protective. If people cross, a girl crosses the age of 14, what does she do? She's got an opportunity of getting vaccinated where three doses are given at non day one at the end of second month and the sixth month where three doses are given there is an indian vaccine which is now available and it has been approved even for usage in boys in the age group of 15 to 26 for prevention of penile cancer the indian vaccine is rampantly available and it comes at a very low cost there is one high-end vaccine also available which is a nonavalent vaccine that is it covers nine varieties of this HPV virus it is of course costly but the dosage pattern is the same if it, the woman is less than 14 years between 9 to 14 you give two doses at one and six months and if she is above 14 you give three doses at one two and six months now there is something called catch-up vaccination we often see women when she's pregnant and then we inquire, are you vaccinated? And most of them say, no, we don't know about it. It is the best time to counsel them about vaccination during their pregnancy. So immediately after childbirth, they can get vaccinated. And this provides them an 80% coverage against cervical cancer. Any coverage above the 80% in any form of cancer is brilliant. So. We should all pledge that all women in our country should get vaccinated at an early age if they miss it any time during their lifetime before the age of 45 to spread, to stop this dreaded disease. Not only that, only vaccination will not protect you. You need to be regularly screened. A screening means a pap smear which every woman should have after 30 years of age. And it should, if you get a negative pap smear, repeat a smear between three to five years. And this screening should continue up to 50 years of age. 
So here we have a disease, a dreaded disease, which kills the women every nine minutes in our country. And we have a treatment, we have a prevention, we have a wonder vaccine which can prevent this disease. Thank you.